brother G World 7 underscore D and doing this quick little video right here. Um, I don't really talk about politics that much, but I'm going to mention this because the election's in a few weeks. I heard, I sat there and I listened to Obama's speech to black men, scolding black men, and they're using the term pookie or poochie. Uh, to reference black men who want to vote for Donald Trump, let me say this, man. If the Democrats really wanted to hone in and get the black male vote, they're going to have to try to earn it, speak to black men about issues that's concerning them and that's on their mind, but they're too busy trying to please migrants coming here to America or immigrants giving them money housing them everything while you have Americans here who are homeless see that that's sick man and the Democratic Party only had themselves to blame but to bring Obama out there the Skull Brothers and just down brothers like this very disrespectful and ignorant but that also tells you how out of touch he is and his mindset to come at people like that. Just lecturing people. He did that back when he was running for president. When he went to that black church in the Woodlawn area. And I forgot the name of the church. But, uh, oh man, I forgot the name of the church. But, um, and, the, and the Reverend. But it's over there by uh, the YMCA at 63rd and and. Mount Carmel High School, which is the Catholic school, and High Park High School, which is the public school. But this idiot started scolding black men then about fathers, need to be a father, and everything. I, see, he, here's, he, here's the thing. He's not of our lineage. That's one. His mother is a white woman, I want to say, from Kansas. His father is a black man from Kenya. He wasn't in his life that much, so... He wants to take his pain and heartache and not having his daddy in his, his life and try to throw that mess at black men in general. This guy is sick. He has a lot of uh, demons that's in him. But to hear some of these old mammies like Sonny Holston sit there and, and trash black men on national TV that the little Puerto Rican chick, I call her little, little, the little black Puerto Rican whatever scold black men who vote for Trump instead of trying to talk to them and convince them to vote for this Harris lady you trash black men on national TV and then you got many of these goofy YouTubers man who do the same thing man and, and, and let me tell you this is one chick who always talk about black men with white women. And I had no issue. You know, you, they, you need to criticize some of the dudes. But she make excuses for black women with white men. And then getting mad at black men who said they won't vote for this chick. Because she's cosplaying as a black woman. And then she's married to a white man. <laughs> but yeah, you dog black men all the time. Who are married to white women. And then you praise Cynthia G. And this is an older lady, and she talks about our history. Basically, she don't know what the hell she's talking about, because our history did not start coming over here as slaves from Africa, which most of us weren't brought over here as slaves. There weren't that many slaves brought over here to the Americas from Africa. I keep telling people, study your black empires over here in the Americas. But she's too stupid. She's too busy trying to be boule and call herself a lady. <laughs> but... Our history been here with the black empires here, man. Over in the southeast, in Florida, Mississippi area, to the uh, Virginia area, to the Massachusetts area, to the Midwest, out west. You had black empires all through North America. This information is there. I've said this over and over in my videos. If you do not want to know this information, you want to remain ignorant and you are a sellout. Period. You are a sellout. Plain and simple. This information's been there. And anyone who's telling you that you are a descendant of slaves, that I don't like the term ADOS, man, because you're not descendants of slaves, because there's many of our people who are classified as free people of color. We we weren't, not all of us were so-called slaves. They got to stop this. Stop this, man. 
And even the one who was slave, there was mostly the Aboriginal blacks here who were originally enslaved. Like I said, there weren't that many Africans brought over here in America. They mixed in, they were absorbed. They were absorbed. If you had black people in the Pacific Islands, if you had black people over in Asia, if you had black people over in Australia, and then they were also here in Europe, by the way, they were also here in the Americas. My goodness. There's some of my people claim to be educated, but she really just been heavily indoctrinated and you're ignorant. And you want to attack black men for not voting for this particular cosplaying black women. That was what's so weird about you have black women who look like Kamala Harris, um, who who are not mixed. Then you have some who are mixed, but you have black women who are not mixed, who look like Kamala Harris. Don't have no mixture in them, period. Our people are able to produce every different shade and every different hair texture, every different physical feature. All right? So there's a lot of stuff that's going on. You know, there's a mess going on where you get these African women tell light-skinned black women they're not black. That's ridiculous. Stop that foolishness, man. <laughs> This is why we need to identify with our true Aboriginal heritage here in America. But who we really are. We're not African, man. And it's these Pan-Africans who want to give every accomplishment that we have done to some place thousands of miles away instead of giving credit to where it's due. Alright, so the comments and attacking a black man is not cool, man. Over who they gonna vote for. If you have not been ignoring them, you wouldn't have been in this situation. But the Democrats have done that. And these boule sellout, divine nine clowns have done nothing for our community. Nothing. That is a big problem. These boule Negroes continue to sell our people out. And they will continue to sell us out. And that's why our communities are in the condition that they're in, some of them, because of these boule sellout Negroes. Who all they care about is being a little, their little fraternity and hooping and hollering about their so-called status when they are a joke. So brothers and sisters, man, this is a quick video because I'm going to may do another one. I am going to do one on the weekend, a historical video. And uh, I just want you to, uh, to keep fighting and doing your research and your history. And do not allow these sellout idiots, man, to try to push an agenda on you.